My name is Rabbi Tovia Singer. I'm the director of an organization called Outreach Judaism. I've devoted my life to helping Jews who've converted to Christianity return back to the Jewish faith. Evangelical Christians are targeting Jews worldwide, spending hundreds of millions of dollars to bring you and those that you love to the church. They claim that Jesus is the Messiah. Now, the belief in the Messiah is uniquely Jewish and is a fundamental principle of the Jewish faith. They claim that Jesus somehow fulfilled these prophecies, but really, what does the Jewish scripture say about the Messiah? Why doesn't Judaism accept this Christian claim? It's a fantastic claim and it lacks evidence. Tanakh tells us, our Hebrew Bible tells us, that there are certain events that will unfold in the Messianic age. When Mashiach comes, there'll be an ingathering of the exiles. That's Ezekiel chapter 37. The knowledge of God will cover the world as the water covers the sea. That's Isaiah chapter 11, verse 9 and verse 10. There'll be a resurrection of the dead. That's Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. The temple, the third and final temple, will be rebuilt. If you look today at the Temple Mount, you'll see there a couple of Islamic shrines and it's laying in destruction, waiting for the redemption. But Ezekiel chapter 37, all the way through 47, to describe the third temple that will, will be there forevermore. So we have all these messianic prophecies telling us what the Mashiach is supposed to do. And now we ask the question, there have been hundreds of people throughout history, maybe thousands, who've claimed to be the Messiah, Jesus included. What do they all have in common? They didn't fulfill a single one of these prophecies. There was no building of the temple during the first century. In fact, it was destroyed. There was no ingathering of exiles during the first century, the Jews were exiled. There was no resurrection of the dead. The Jews were murdered by the Romans in the ongoing wars. There was no worldwide knowledge of God during the first century because as a result of these wars with Rome and the destruction, the havoc of the destruction of the Second Commonwealth, the knowledge of God and the observance of mitzvot were diminished. What's the key? The key is know your own Tanakh, know your own scriptures. If you can look at the great passages of Ezekiel and Isaiah that tell us exactly what will occur, the lamb will lie with the lion. There'll be a worldwide peace when the Messiah comes. Nation will not lift up sword against nation. Isaiah chapter 2. Are we living in a time when there is peace? No. We are living in a great time, however, where we're observing the events that are bringing us to this great redemption happening before our eyes. Know your scriptures, understand your own faith, and no missionary will be able to rob you of a relationship with God. Thanks for joining me.